Hello? Oh, this is taped. Can I? You know what? Okay. Try it. Okay. <laughs> it was taped. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Chin Chintan Sutaria, and I am the founder of CalcuQuote. CalcuQuote helps electronics contract manufacturers improve the speed and accuracy of their quote process. What we do is we help companies stop losing money on the business they're winning. So what is an electronics contract manufacturer? Because we're doing polls tonight. <laughs> Think of any electronics device that you've ever used or heard of or anything, right? Whether it's your cell phone, your laptop, your TV, Think bigger, satellites, jets, missiles. Think more current, you're gonna see some robots tonight. All of these things, at one point or another, involved an electronics contract manufacturer. So, we solve a very important problem for them, which is that we help them better price their products. Put yourself in the shoes of an electronics contract manufacturer, you get two documents. You get an assembly drawing, which shows you where the components on a circuit board go, and you get a bill of material, which shows you what those components are. Using these two documents, you're expected to provide a fixed price on how much you're gonna charge your customer for building this thing. And by the way, you've never built it before, right? So that's the challenge that these contract manufacturers have. So you can see that it is a problem, but how big of a problem is it? So let's look at this graph over here. So you've got complexity on the bottom, right? So on the left side, you'd have a very simple electronics device. And on the right hand side, you'd have a very complex one. Like a, like a satellite back panel or something, right? Uh, over here, you've got the unit price. So follows reason that as complexity increases, your price would go up, right? Everybody kind of agrees with that methodology. But what happens if you're a contract manufacturer providing a fixed price? Well, if you underprice or misess, uh, you know, misjudge the complexity of a board, you could underprice the entire assembly and you don't get to revise it. So what ends up happening is you operate in the red, right? You lose money on every assembly you're making. Well, that's a huge problem. So what do most contract manufacturers end up having to do is they have a cushion for themselves, right? They'll add a little bit extra to the price to make sure they don't lose money. Now, does that mean contract manufacturers just walk away with a pile of cash every time? No. They end up losing customers because they overprice their product, right? It's a competitive bidding process, so they end up losing customers. So as a contract manufacturer, you have the option between losing customers or losing money. And that's a tough choice to make unless you're within that very narrow blue band in the middle that shows you that you have accurately estimated the complexity of an assembly. And that's where CalcuQuote comes in. We help contract manufacturers stay in that narrow band of having an accurate cost model that gives an accurate price. So what is CalcuQuote? CalcuQuote is a cloud-based quote management system. So we start with when a contract manufacturer's customer requests a quote from them, help that contract manufacturer come up with a price accurately and quickly, and then we help them follow up with their customers so that they turn their quotes into sales orders, which is very important. So let's talk about traction. Is it working today? The answer is yes, from what we've seen so far. The algorithm behind CalcuQuote was developed based on my experience in the contract manufacturing industry, and we've already used it on more than 4,000 quotes. It works. Also, uh, customers have been using CalcuQuote since May of this year in its current form. So that means we've had paying customers already using it and they're very happy with the service they're getting. We only officially launched on September 28th, which is about a month ago. And since then, we've also had some really exciting things happen. So one of the biggest ERP systems in the industry has endorsed CalcuQuote. They've been recommending CalcuQuote to all of their customers as the preferred way of coming up with pricing for the industry. <laughs> We've also got co-marketing efforts underway with some of the biggest distributors in the industry. So if you're in the electronics wor world, Mauser, Aero, Newark, these names mean something to you. And they're starting to recommend to their customers that they should use CalcuQuote to get pricing and availability information. So what do we want tonight? We're looking for people who are interested in talking with us about new features. So that means if you have ideas, feedback for us, anything like that, we'd love to talk to you because that's how we've sustained our growth so far. We're also looking for people with industry contacts. So if you know anybody that's a contract manufacturer or a components distributor, anything like that, we'd love to talk. And we wanna think bigger. This isn't just about contract manufacturing. This is about any cost plus industry. And the startup community in Dallas has been awesome in helping us get this far. 
and we want to double down on that. And so what we're looking forward to uh, doing with that is what better way to double down on that than to work with one of the best B2B accelerators in the country right now. What's up, Tech Wildcatters? <laughs> Our application's ready. We're ready to get started. Now the way this goes, you have five minutes of questions and answers. So first question. Hey, Jason, yeah. I have. It's awesome. <laughs> they helped us come up with our current pricing model for CalcuQuote. That could, that first part could definitely be like a customer testimonial for us. Um, it's a problem. Uh, a problem. Yes. So um, that's kind of where we talk about thinking bigger. We've already started setting up like a bidding marketplace for components side. We're now working on having, uh, or one of the things that's in our roadmap is to have something where we could set up kind of a marketplace for somebody like you. Is that? Oh, no. Yeah. Um, so. <laughs> yeah, and, and that's part of the risk that contract manufacturers run with the fixed bidding, right? Um, so that's where, if you can get a little bit more information up front with the quoting process, that's where we kind of help mitigate some of that unknown field. That's true. Um, that does happen, and it's a pricing strategy some people will employ. I'm stepping on this tape. Um, it's a pricing strategy some people will employ. What we do is we help the contract manufacturer at least accurately establish the cost model up front. Then the profit margins they want to work in depends on the market and a lot of other factors, including who else is bidding on it, whether you have certain certification requirements, things like that. Plans is, uh, is a strong word. Um, <laughs> we, we do see that as a possibility. Um, we'd have to kind of weigh against the flip side of it, which is will contract manufacturers, which is our core business right now, be happy with that. Yeah, so in contract manufacturing, basically the customer will have given all the designs up front, so they would own the designs, they would modify the design as they see fit. The contract manufacturer kind of just builds it. So it's design and set in theory. Yeah, so it'd be like if, if somebody were to bring you the groceries and the recipe and they say, cook my dinner, okay. like that. Yeah. Uh, so we do have, in our algorithm, we have a learning curve in there. So as you get higher in quantity, it'll actually start to accommodate, uh, allow for increased efficiencies. Um, based on whatever quantities you requested, yes.
Yeah, so um, it comes in a variety of different ways, right? I mean, uh, so <laughs> no pressure. Um, it comes in a, a bunch of different ways, um, and the customer already today has to modify that into whatever template that they're using. So that's what they do with CalcuQuote, is they do massage the data a little bit. Thank you.